me I was too young. They told me I needed more training. Huh? I told them to drop dead. How ironic. I don't know how I survived that fall. Something strange must have happened. My pulse is beating like a drum, but my blood is running cold. I'm not sure what's going on, but I came here with a question. And I'm gonna find the answer if it kills me. Welcome to Offline Games. My name is Chris, and uh, the Steam Winter Sale is upon us, and I, I stumbled upon a new game. Or rather, an older game that was on sale. Welcome to Nick Crypt of the Necrodancer. Now, this game is all about following the beat. Quick reaction time. And if this is anything, whatnot. I, and if this is anything like what I know, <laughs> me fucking everything up as I am attempting to talk, maintain a steady stream of consciousness, and hitting every single note as we go. If I'm gonna survive this, I'll have to remember what Uncle Eli taught me. Every opponent has a predictable pattern, he said. Learn that pattern and you won't suffer so much as a scratch. That green guy didn't move at all, and this blue one just moves up and then down, so if I attack him from the side, I'll never get hurt. <laughs> a broadsword, not as sharp as I'm used to, but I bet it can still take out three enemies in one shot. Looks like those skeletons put their hands in the air when they're about to jump. If I'm in the way when they move, it's gonna hurt. So with the tutorial out of the way, I do have to say one thing. I am not going into this game completely blind. I have put in a grand total of about an hour but for this channel and for YouTube I decided if I'm going to do this I've got to do this correctly nothing in this game has been actually completed I erased all my data I know a little bit about the first two floors and that's about it So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how we can how main well me can maintain oh shit. We're gonna see how well we can maintain anything, and I got beaten over the head on the first section by this, and I also have no idea what that little thing is in the corner. So uh Yeah! Welcome to Crypt of the Crypt of the Necrodancer. Everything here is gonna be fun. So diamonds that we diamonds that we gain that throughout the floors, we can use it to upgrade our weaponry items, whatever. Now there are one last thing, and we can do Hello. passive items or passive increases. So extra heart container, uh, coin multiplier, um, red chest. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a red chest because I got one coin, and okay, I'm gonna do this because I have two coins. And. I, I'm gonna pause this because it is kind of difficult to maintain a steady conversation, talk about what I'm doing, and learning at the same time. So, I can only move in beat with the music. And, uh, that's one and fun and hilarious. And apparently... Okay, stop, 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 stop. Uh, wait, what the... Ooh... I'm gonna leave those alone for now because I, I don't see what I'm doing so let's just whatever but apparently I get some cool things anyways so 
I can only move in time with the beat, in time with the music, in time with everything. Uh, music will become faster both by the soundtrack and by things. And also, there will be points in the game where uh, stuff in the world will alter what I can do. So there's a variety of characters and one of these is uh, the Bard. You can look into him. The Bard, no beats, move at any time. Enemies move after you, continue. No, I don't really don't want to. We also have Nocturnia. Become a bat. I honestly have no idea what any of these are. Who any of these are. Protect your lamb and uh, Tempo. Tempo seems the most entertaining. But I gotta kill things. So for now, since I know no, sh I don't know shit. I'm gonna be you. So this is round two of actually having played this game fully. I need ten coins to get my golden key. Cause with the golden key. I can unlock a handful more things in there. Now, I, I did get this cool axe. I don't know exactly how it works. Uh, I will have to say one thing. It is kind of difficult to maintain a sense of a string of uh, thought and be able to play a game such as this requires a lot of focus. But we're gonna maintain, we're gonna destroy walls, we're gonna do whatever we need to. And find all the rig goodies. I don't know what that means, but apparently I can use it for stuff. This game has been on the market for a while, so obviously more people have played this than I have. I don't care. It is entertaining, and if I am entertained, oh shit, there's a dragon. If I'm entertained, then it doesn't matter. I got killed by a dragon. I could have attacked something else, but I decided... I, I could have attacked a dragon in one, but I decided to attack the skeleton. Because I have to move by the beat. Maybe if I was a bard, I wouldn't have to worry about it. But I'm not the bard, am I? Hey. So we'll do one more. We'll finish this up, and uh, we'll see what happens. Our goal right now is just to get into the next area. If I can get to floor two while maintaining a a stream of consciousness and being able to you know, do this, it'll be a record. Not saying much considering it's a... Uh, why the fuck are you throwing dragons at me? What the fuck? Why are there so many things coming trying to kill me? Uh, item, up and left. Hey dragon. Fuck you dragon. So I managed to survive, and I honestly will not- don't want to die, so yeah, die yet. Okay, I, I have a sword. Cool. Is this a floor, is this a map for all floors? I, I I don't think I'm really gonna survive, so may as well do this now. But there's a small little opening here. Uh, 
sell one of your items? Uh, sure. Um. Uh. I guess I can sell this. I don't have anything in my slot. Uh, I, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna sell my sword. And I now have nothing. So let's quickly go and get my dagger. Where did I leave my dagger? I'm not gonna make it, am I? I don't know honestly what I'm doing. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. And uh, I ran upon a guy. Yeah, if I don't, I have to beat the game or beat the round in a certain amount of time. And that certain amount of time is, uh, well, depending on the song. I could have made it. But then I decided to sell my sword because I I stumbled upon something new. And something new is always entertaining. And, uh, yeah. Well, okay, so we're going to call it an episode. I honestly don't know if this is going to work. Maintaining a stream of consciousness and a talking about different things and not just what was happening. To a beat is new and difficult. But oh, so fun. I'll see you on the next episode. Later.